as you can see, you know, based on the initial gameplay, based on what the game makers has been teasing the community. Um, first of all, players will be able to earn in-game rewards. You can see the NFTs, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Is it really possible to make money while playing a computer game? Well, NFTs and crypto has changed it all. And today in this video, I wanna be able to walk you through seven games that I've personally tried um, to walk you through my thoughts around it and how you could make money while playing these games. Now, number seven is Idle Cyber. And basically what this game is, is where humans, you command a squad of mutants, you have to defend the wall, you have to kill cyborgs, you gotta conquer giant bosses uh, to defend humanity. So Idle Cyber is built on the BSC blockchain and it looks promising because players can now stake their NFTs, they can trade their NFTs and ultimately whatever you get in-game is going to be utilized to, you can sell in the secondary market and from both a player as well as an investor's perspective, there is good opportunity to be able to sell whatever in-game items that you get from the game. And that brings us to number six. Number six is the good old Axie Infinity. And Axie Infinity is an NFT game that is inspired by pretty much Pokemon, right? And it's developed on the Ethereum blockchain. If you take a look at this game, it consists of literally millions of adorable fantasy creatures called Axies. And players can ultimately collect, you can raise and trade these digital pets. And the main philosophy of this game is that you can play to earn because it rewards users, potentially you, for your time and effort playing this game. And these rewards come in a form of this SLP, which is Smooth Love Potion, that you can earn through the gameplay. And you can these, these SLP tokens can be exchanged for Ethereum tokens um, on exchanges like Uniswap and Binance. And Axie Infinity this year has just literally exploded. Um, the, the tokenomics, I'd say, has been carefully developed. And this market cap, um, it's pretty crazy, it's like 42 million. Um, in fact, it's, it's way past that number right now. And the sale of the items has actually passed 1 billion. And this is currently the most expensive NFT collection in terms of the gaming category. So now they've catered you know, for, for Windows, Macs, iOS, Android. And this is where the, the vision is to create this virtual economy where you can own and operate your business, you know, and or even save and invest and spend your money by investing in these pets. Now, I got to mention the only downside to this is that the game, these pets has increased significantly that I would believe that you, you need to have minimum three pets and it will set you back a, cur a couple of hundred dollars in order to begin because that's where you know demand is right now but this is literally the one that has exploded this year and that brings us to number five number five is something that holds really dear to me and the reason for that is because um, i used to play this game called magic the gathering which was a trading card game if it's not your era and the crazy thing is i played that game the trading card game hardcore for about 10 years um, right from when I started secondary school at 12 years old all the way to college, university and even after that and um, it was one of those games that I was so serious about that I actually made it into like the Nationals tournament that was like the highlight of my magic career and it was a big thing and the crazy thing about Gods Unchained is that it attempts to follow the same exact thing like very similar to Hearthstone as well if you ever played Blizzard's game except that now this trading card game is linked to the blockchain it's linked to the nft world so that whatever card that you own you literally own the nft as well so this means that unlike hearthstone unlike magic the gathering online where you could be buying and you're paying the company but they could shut you down at any time right or it could be the case that if they discontinue there's no way to extract your magic the gathering online cards that's in the game or your hearthstone cards that's in the game so 
This is where players can, you can collect these cards, you can trade them, it's yours, you, you own it, it's on the blockchain. And they have exceeded over a million dollars in sales during, in the first month of their launch. And the cards, in fact, the most expensive card, which is Griffith the Chosen, sold for slightly over $12,000 back in May 2021. So this runs on Immutable X. Um, so that means that the gas transactions to buy and sell these NFTs are low. This is, we are so early in the market. I don't know if Gods Unchained is going to be the category king of its kind in terms of like the trading card game online, but definitely this is gonna set a new precedent so that other trading card games will eventually follow suit and the eventual winner. So whether it's God Un Gods Unchained or, or, or another one um, is definitely gonna hold its value in years to come if it's adopted by the masses. And that brings us to number four, which is CryptoKitties. And CryptoKitties is pretty much the first game that was built on the Ethereum network. And this is where, because it's got a historical value to it, um, prices of CryptoKitties has also gone up significantly over the years. And this is where players can buy, sell, and breed these cats to create desirable traits that would be unique to the ERC721 tokens. Um, so this is where players can then sell these crypto kitties on markets like OpenSea. And the crazy thing is that to me, when I play this game, I think about like, it's probably, you, you know, most of you might not be old enough to understand this, but there used to be this thing called Tamagotchi, which is where you got to breed these digital animals. This is when I was like, man 10 or something okay it was a big thing back then um, but this would be like the the way to do it today so you can earn rewards by creating um like a collection of cats and once you have your collection you can first of all breed them for for more cats or you can take your cats to like a kitty verse where they can participate in fights and you can solve puzzles with other players and that brings us to one of the most hyped rpg games Illuvium. So Illuvium is an open world RPG adventure game that's also built on the Ethereum blockchain where players can earn in-game rewards. Now the Illuvium coin has just shot up significantly so not whether you're watching this video eh, as, a, as a potential player or investor uh, this is definitely a game where everybody's expectations are extremely high um, at the time of me shooting this video, the game is not out yet, so who knows what will happen. It could be a huge game in 2022, or this video might not age well, and this video could be a this game could be a total flop. But based on, as you can see, you know, based on the initial gameplay, based on what the game makers has been teasing the community, um, first of all, players will be able to earn in-game rewards. You can see the NFTs; it just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and because of Immutable X, this also means that players can um, have extremely low gas and minting fees. And this is like a whole new era of NFTs, right? Um, I think that based on like all of the different games out there, this is definitely one of the games to look out for. Um, there's peer-to-peer -peer minting, you get instant transactions, and ultimately you get custody of all of your assets. And this is definitely one of the most hyped up games for 2022. And that brings us to number two, which is the Sandbox. And the Sandbox is pretty much a play to earn virtual style metaverse, which number one, it means that you can own the land. So you can buy NFTs to literally own the land that's inside the metaverse. You can play games that's within the game, or you can build your own game. So if you think about it, it's kind of like, Roblox on some crazy steroids um, that, that's, that, that's never been created before. So you can take control of this uh, virtual world either as, you can play this as a collector, right? You can play this as an artist. Um, you could be like a game maker or simply as, as a random gamer inside the metaverse, just hopping around um, from the world, from game to game, very similar to Roblox. So this sandbox is built on the Ethereum network and it has own meta, it's got its own currency called Sand. So this game definitely is one of the most hyped 
metaverses in the world of crypto um and you 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 get there's just so much potential in this game and if you're looking to either game or buy digital land or digital real estate uh this is definitely one of the games to try out and play um because this game will have and and the games within the game in this metaverse will have a lot of presence and finally number one and before I talk about what number one is, number one is basically to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're enjoying this video, and if you like blockchain, like NFTs, and you like gaming, and the thought of making money while you game, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel so that you'll be first to notified whenever we create videos just like this one, anything to making money online, anything with NFTs or the blockchain, you'll be the first to be notified whenever we drop a new video. So number one is basically this. Number one is to show you how, as a gamer, how I am playing these games, how I'm spending money on these games, and why spending money on these games to research, that's how I justify these expenses, is going to be an ultimate game changer. So if, for example, this game here is called Lost Relics. To me, this game is like a bad example or a, you know, a bad version of Diablo 3. Maybe even a bad version of Diablo 1, okay? But basically, think of it as kind of like Diablo. And it looks something like this. This is basically, you walk around the dungeon, you're slashing things up, and you're killing these monsters in the dungeon. Very similar to Diablo, except that this is the bad version of Diablo. But anything that you get in-game, any drop can be minted and can be resold on OpenSea. So as you can see, I bought different weapons, I bought different drops and armors. So this game is kind of like Diablo. And the reason why I'm showing you this and how, and the reason why I'm putting this number one, not, not because it's the best game out there. In fact, it's not, it's far from it. But to show you how early we are in the world of gaming and NFTs. Um, can you imagine three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, when the big game makers are all on board because they know that this is the future and that's how all gamers would want to eventually game so that they can literally earn while playing so that they earn these assets where games would be at that point in time where players don't just pay the game makers for a specific skin or a specific sword but everything that drops in game can be minted and certified and sold on the open sea marketplace so that's pretty much it. This would be number one. This is Lost Relics, which is kind of like <laughs> Diablo. And with things, with us being so early in NFTs and gaming right now, I just can't wait to see what 2022 holds for us and over the next three years and what's going to happen when it comes to nft and gaming so that being said let me know in the comments below what are some of the games that you are looking forward to if there were some games that was not mentioned in the list here share the games below in the comments section and as always smash the like button this help the channel out and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one